Clarence. <laughs> hey. Yes, George. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Where's my car? I left it right here. You don't have a car, George. Well, it, it left a big gash in that tree right there. No, it didn't, George. You don't have a car because you've never been born. <laughs> hey, well, this is supposed to be Martini's place. Martini doesn't live around here, George. This is a world as if George Bailey had never lived. When a man's not around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? Take me home, Clarence. You don't have a home. The old Granville house is still in shambles. You never fixed it up. But yes, I did. I live in that house. No. <laughs> Try to understand. <laughs> you wish to never be born. So I made your wish come true. So you were never born. So nothing you did has ever happened. You get it? <laughs> My own mother didn't know me, Clarence. Jesus Christ, George, it's not that hard. <laughs> okay, listen. Again, you don't exist in this world. So nothing ever did happen. You never saved your brother Harry's life. Yes, you did. I did. Harry was a war hero. He saved all the men on that transport. All those men are dead, George. They're dead. You never saved your brother Harry, so he never saved them. All those men are dead. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please don't kill yourself. I'm sorry. Hey, where's the building and loan? Why would there be a building and loan? There's no one to run it. Oh, well, I run it. God damn it. George. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have value. You have a wonderful life. You have friends. Please don't commit suicide. Okay. Listen. Clarence. Yes? Where's my wife, man? You don't have a goddamn wife! Well, yes, I do. We went for a walk right there after the dance when I, when I lassoed the moon. You never lassoed the moon! Not in this reality or the other one! <laughs> oh, God, George, I'm so sorry. Okay, listen. I'm gonna explain it to you again. Let me know where I lost you. You wish to never be born. So I used my angel powers to create this alternate Bedford Falls where you, George Bailey, had never lived. All right, I'm using this alternate world as a storytelling device, okay? So you've never lived, you never did anything in your life, you never saved your brother Harry from falling in the ice, you never stopped the drunk pharmacist from poisoning that kid, you never got Martini House, you never got married, and you never had kids, okay? This town is now called Potter's No, no, I stopped Mr. Potter from owning the shut, town. Shut up, shut up, shut it. <laughs> it never happened, okay? Nothing you did has ever happened. You get it now, finally? Hey, where's Zuzu's pet? There's no goddamn Zuzu! <laughs> well, I can hear out of my left ear. What do you know about that? This is not worth my wings. I take it all back. We're back to the regular reality. Everything's back to normal. You do exist. Everything's back to normal. Forget it. Forget everything. George? George, is that you? Oh, Bert! You, you, you know me, Bert? Well, of course I know you, George. You're a liar! You don't know me because I don't exist! Isn't that right, Clarence? <laughs> Jump off the fucking bridge! <laughs>